Well, good morning, everyone. Glad you are with us today for this, our sixth week of Strength for Today. Good morning, Pastor Donna. Uh, we are spending some time in the Word every day, just trying to help all of us get our days off to a really good start. Getting our thoughts on Scripture really, really is helpful here uh, because our thoughts determine our actions. And if we can focus our thoughts on the Lord and focus our thoughts on the Word right off the start, um, our days are just going to go that much better because our actions follow our thoughts. So we're in 1 Thessalonians 5. Forgive me, last Friday, uh, Saturday, I called it 1 Corinthians 5. It is 1 Thessalonians 5. End of chapter 4, we're talking about the Lord returning in the clouds, in the air. And then he says in verse 5, You believers don't need to be all confused about this, about the times and the seasons, is the phraseology the King James Version uses. Times and epochs is what uh, New American Standard Version says. And it goes on and talks about our attitude and the signs and things that will be happening uh, in the end times in verses 1 through to 10. And then we get to therefore, therefore. When you see it, therefore, you need to figure out what it is. Therefore. Therefore. My dad said that hundreds of times, and now I think I've said it thousands. Mm -hmm. When you see it, therefore, you got to know what it's there for. So we've talked about our, our conduct in, as Christians in the end times. And the first thing we need to make sure we're doing is we need to be encouraging one another. Mm -hmm. Don't be a discourager, be an encourager. And then secondly, we build up one another. And Pastor Donna brought her blocks. She pretends they're the kids' blocks. She plays with the blocks. <laughs> well, herself, you're so smart in them. <laughs> um, but uh, we build one another up. Uh, we don't tear each other down. And then we get to this interesting uh, thing we're supposed to be doing. And I think this becomes even more important as we get... Uh, closer and closer to the Lord's return. And I'm not setting dates here, but the closer we are to the Lord's return, the more important this is. It's always important. But he says, uh, verse 12, I request of you, brethren, that you appreciate those who diligently labor among you and have charge over you in the Lord and give you instruction that you esteem them very highly in love because of their work. So he's talking here about end times, context is at end times, Jesus is coming back, uh, and the church has always lived in an anticipation that Jesus will come back. Mm -hmm. But the reality is leaders aren't that needed when things are going smoothly, but when things get rough, the water gets rough, uh, the times and the challenges are massive, leadership really matters. And the end times are not going to be easy times. And uh, we need to be learning now that leadership matters. So I'm going to talk quickly about the three things leaders need to be doing And uh, from this portion. First of all, it says, leaders are to be diligently laboring among you. We are not called to be lazy people. We're not called to figure out the minimum we can do and say, huh. That's the least I can do. That's the least bit I'll do. That's the least bit of effort and energy I'll put in. We're to be diligently laboring. Uh, and the mark of Christian leadership is always serving. Uh, if leadership is influence, spiritual leadership is spiritual influence. And we get our spiritual influence by serving. We're not to try to get people to do things what we think they should be doing, because that would be really neat if they do what I want to do. We're just here to serve. And we serve among them. That word among is important. We spend time with, we're amongst the people. And then he says, so this first thing leaders need to remember, we're called to diligently serve among you, lead, labor, work among you. Secondly, there's an interesting phrase, and have charge over you. Every once in a while I hear people say, ah, pastor, and they roll their eyes a little bit. Ah, pastor's taking charge of it. Pastor's not taking charge. Pastor has charge. Pastor has charge. Uh, and have charge over you in the Lord. Um, 
pastors need to recognize there's a leadership mantle on their hearts and they have charge. And the third thing is we're to give instruction. Uh, doesn't do a church any good for me or us as pastors to be sharing our opinions, uh, pursuing the latest cultural fads. Um, we need to be pouring the Word of God into people, giving instruction from Scripture. Uh, so that's what the pastors need to be doing always, and particularly as the return of the Lord draws near, we anticipate in the sound of the trump. Uh, we need to be doing that, but the people have to be responding uh, in a certain way too. So leadership requires followership. So <laughs> tell all these wonderful people how to follow God's Well, uh, it, it goes on in, in uh, this portion to say that that we are also to esteem um, our, our leaders and honor them. Um, and I think that's very, well, it is very important. I grew up, I didn't grow up in a minister's home. John, John did. So our, our kind of, the way we came into this was uh, leading together was kind of a little different. Um, my parents were very involved in our church, but they certainly were not... Um, the pastors of our church, and yet my my parents uh, loved um, our pastors, um, the Johnson brothers in Montreal. They they just loved them, and um, they served them, and they followed them, and they esteemed them. And I was just reflecting with John last night when we were kind of talking about this. I don't remember my parents ever saying one negative thing about my pastors. They truly, truly, truly love them and because they have this relationship with them it was easy for my parents uh, and us as a family to follow to follow them and their teaching and I'm not saying you need to follow people blindly of course not but you need to like, you should follow me blindly. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I think I do <laughs> um, but sometimes I think it's the blind leading the blind but um, I think we need to just uh, recognize that God calls us to be in relationship here. This this uh, isn't just uh, the top leading the bottom uh, and the bottom following blindly. This is this is uh, journeying together, and we need to come together and recognize that um, as we honor our leaders, as we follow our leaders, God is leading them. And I love this verse in Hebrews. It says. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will give an account. Um, so there's a responsibility, a huge Hebrews responsibility. 13, Hebrews 13, 17, good stuff. Um, and so we need to obey and submit to these leaders that God has put over us because they are keeping a watch over our soul. And we have leaders as well that we follow. And, they, and then it just goes on to say, let them do this with joy and not groaning. Um, so that is our responsibility as we respond to our leaders to make our relationship with our leadership a, a good one, a healthy one, a happy one, where we are happy to follow and they are happy to lead us and uh, take responsibility for that. So I need to get into my day and I'm going to do my best not to groan once today. Mm -hmm. I hope I pass the test. <laughs> Well, love, all, love all of you. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, let's uh, just pray and ask the Lord to help us through the Bible today. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your many blessings. We hold your name as hallowed today. Mm -hmm. Hallowed be your name. Thank you that you're Jehovah Sidkenu in everyone's life today. You're their righteousness. Any condemnation, any sense of judgment, trusting over anyone, I just ask you to release them from that. Pray, Father, that you would give them a sense that you are Jehovah Nisi. They don't need to go through the day fighting a bunch of battles. They can give their problems and their circumstances to you, knowing that you walk with them and you're for them. So we bless you. We thank you for this great day. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. Bye. Okay, go quickly, Tom. Go quickly, go quickly. We're using a new system.